gentlemen. My name is Jeff Little, and I am president of Franco JCs. Uh, we are the uh, sponsor for the Junior Miss program. I would like to welcome you to the 2007 Indiana Junior Miss. Tonight is the first of two preliminary nights, which will be followed by finals, which will take place this Saturday. Uh, once again, on behalf of the JCs, I welcome you and hope you can attend all these programs and hope you, that you enjoy them. It is my pleasure to introduce the Master of Ceremonies for tonight's show. This young lady was a former Indiana Junior Miss, being crowned Indiana's Junior Miss on this stage in the year 2005, and she is currently a sophomore at the University of Indianapolis. It is our pleasure to have her, and would you please give a warm welcome to Miss Katie Stamm. Good evening and welcome again to the 2007 Indiana's Junior Miss Scholarship Program. Just to make a really quick announcement, some of you may have noticed that contestant number three, Jackson County's Junior Miss Emily Wayman, was not up on stage for the opening parade of contestants. She's feeling a little bit under the weather right now. She should be back for the rest of the show, though, so we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, right now, would you please help me welcome back to the stage 2006 Indiana's Junior Miss, Miss Alexandra Trees. Hello, Alex. How you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you, Miss Katie? I'm good. I'm good. Tell us a little bit about what you and the girls have been doing this last week up in Frankfurt. Oh, we've been doing the same old thing. We go around and visit some people. We've been to Wesley Manor quite a few times. Obviously, they've been working really hard on some routines. I get to just sit back and watch, luckily. But I think they've been having fun. I hope they have. I know I had a lot of fun this week last year. And I'm sure they're all really anxious to get back to school. Oh, of course. So am I. <laughs> Make up all that homework, you know. <laughs> so now you're in college attending the U Indiana University. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Spanish education. The book says communications, but I think they were just stuck on Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see why. Actually, it's Spanish education. I'm going to teach high school, I hope. All right. Well, good luck with that, and good luck for the Thank rest of this you. evening, Thank and you. we'll see you back later. Okay. Bye, Katie. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now down to business. The quest to find the new Indiana Junior Miss is based on a systematic standard of judging. The judges are looking for the young woman who best embodies the philosophy and meaning of what it means to be Junior Miss. The combination of qualities, characteristics, and values are considered when selecting the next person for the job. The judging criteria is consistent on the local, state, and national levels. In each area of the program, judges are looking for an overall excellence in scholarship, personality, physical well-being, creativity, and the ability to relate to others on a personal level. The first two areas of competition are the interview and scholastics. First, each contestant takes part in a 10-minute interview or discussion session with our lovely panel of judges. During this 10 minutes, the panel is looking for clarity of expression, personality, maturity, a sense of values, and an awareness in human relations, as well as the contestant's ability to express herself. This portion, the interview, makes up 25% of the overall score. The scholastic portion is the next area of scoring. In this, a separate panel of qualified educators carefully reviews and rates each contestant's high school academic record, including transcripts, grades, scholastic test scores, and college entrance examinations. This evaluation accounts for an additional 20%. As you can see, with interview and scholastic taking place already, 45% of the total score is never seen by you guys, the audience. That makes it all the more fun and challenging to choose your pick for Indiana's Junior Miss 2007. The final three areas of competition take place on this stage tonight. The contestants will compete in fitness, which accounts for an additional 15%. Talent, an additional 25% and self-expression, which, which makes up the final 15%. In the end, we are left with a grand total of 100%. 
Tonight, you will see that each area of competition allows the young women to display their personal best. It is from this scoring process that we will soon meet the 2007 Indiana's Junior Miss. It should be an exciting ride. Tonight, the groups of girls are split into two groups. We have group one and group two, and they will be competing in the various categories this evening. Group two will be competing in physical fitness and also in self-expression, whereas group one will be competing in talent. Now, although it may seem just like numbers to you and I, the difficult task of putting the scoring process into action is left to the group of individuals seated right at the front of this stage. Being a judge is not a simple task. Tonight we are privileged to have a highly prestigious and qualified panel of judges. I'm going to take a moment just to recognize them and some of their accomplishments. Our very first judge for this evening is Miss Elissa Ferguson. Excuse me. Elissa is a 2005 graduate from DePaul University with a joint degree in Spanish and conflict resolution. She works for the running company in Indianapolis where she helps clients improve fitness levels and prevent injury. In 2001, Elissa was selected as Indiana's Junior Miss. Elissa continues to support Junior Miss by judging local and state programs and has a great respect for all that Junior Miss offers the young women involved. In her spare time, Alyssa enjoys playing the piano, running, dancing, and reading. Alyssa lives in Indianapolis. Please help me welcome Alyssa Ferguson. Our second judge for this evening is Miss Nicole Maybe. Nicole is a graduate of Butler University with a degree in marketing, where she was also selected as one of the top 10 outstanding students. She has worked as an editor for three major pharmaceutical journals at Russell Publishing in Indianapolis. Representing Howard County, Nicole was chosen as Indiana's Junior Miss in 1997. She has judged numerous local programs and assisted the judge's chairperson for the 2005 Illinois Junior Miss program. Nicole is active in the St. Joan of Arc Catholic Church and Big Brothers Big Sisters of Howard County, where she was chosen Big Sister of the Year in 1997. Nicole and her husband, Carrie, reside in Kokomo with their son, Luke, and their daughter, Gabriella. Our second judge for this evening, Miss Nicole Maybe. <laughs> judge number three is Miss Jennifer Stanley. Jennifer was Elkhart's Junior Miss in 1998 and the first runner-up to Indiana's Junior Miss. She also represented Elkhart in the Miss Indiana America program. Jennifer graduated from DePaul University in 2002 with honors where she majored in biology. She is now in her third year of medical school at Indiana University School of Medicine. Between undergraduate school and medical school, she worked at Eli Lilly as a research associate. Jennifer has an extensive background in gymnastics and has worked as a coach, choreographer, and a judge. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Stanley. Our fourth judge of the evening is Ms. Kelly Snodder. Kelly was Jackson County's Junior Miss in 1996 and named a top 10 finalist at Indiana's Junior Miss. She graduated from Butler University in 2000 with a bachelor's degree in telecommunication arts. Kelly worked in the TV business for six years. She is now acting part-time and she and her husband just welcomed their first baby girl, Madison Grace. Since her local win in 1996, Junior Miss has remained a passion of Kelly's. She has served on Indiana's Junior Miss State Board and as their publicity chairwoman. She also emcees and judges local and state programs. She, her husband Matthew, and their new daughter Madison, and their multi-poo Emmy reside in Bloomington, Indiana. Kelly Snodder. And our final judge for this evening and the lone man on the panel is Mr. Christopher Hamilton. Christopher is an attorney in Fort Wayne, Indiana, concentrating his private practice in insurance defense litigation. He is a registered civil and domestic relations mediator as well. Mr. Hamilton received his preparatory education at Culver Military Academy and graduated from DePaul University and Washington University School of Law. 
Chris recently returned to private practice after serving for three years as an instructor and counselor in Culver's Winter School and as a director in its Summer Camps program. The judge of this evening, Mr. Christopher Hamilton. All right, enough of me, on to the important stuff, the girls. All right, the first area of competition this evening is physical fitness. This category counts for 15% of the overall score, but takes 100% of the contestants' energy. The girls have worked diligently to perfect this routine all week long. The judges will be evaluating each contestant's overall conditioning during a choreographed aerobic routine. Judges base their scoring on such qualities as coordination, stamina, and agility. Now please help me welcome the first half of group number two directly followed by the, the second half of group number two. Ladies and gentlemen, physical fitness. She's a great singer. You're in for a real treat. She'll be singing Mississippi Girl from, by Faith Hill. So let's give a nice warm welcome again for Miss Katie Stamm, Indiana's Junior Miss of 2005. Well, it's a long way from Star Mississippi to the big stage I'm singing on tonight. And sometimes the butterflies sting get me when I'm in the spotlight. And some people seem to think that I've changed, that I'm different than I was back then. But in my soul, I know that I'm the same way that I really always been. Cause a Mississippi girl don't change her ways just cause everybody knows her name Ain't big at it from a little bit of fame I still like wearing my old ball cap Riding my kids around piggyback They might know me all around the world But y'all, I'm still a Mississippi girl Guys, let's start clapping. Well, I spent a few weeks in California. They put my face on the big movie screen. But that don't mean I've forgotten where I came from. That's just me chasing dreams. Cause an Indiana girl don't change her ways Just cause everybody knows her name Ain't big at it from a little bit of fame I still like wearing my old ball cap Riding my kids around piggyback They might know me all around the world But y'all I'm still Mississippi girl Cause a Mississippi girl don't change her ways Just cause everybody knows her name Ain't big at it from a little bit of fame I still like wearing my old ball cap Riding my kids around piggyback They might know me all around this world But y'all I'm still Mississippi girl, yeah, Mississippi girl, oh, oh, na, 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 na,
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now we'd like to also take a moment to recognize some of you out in the audience. So if we may please have some house lights back again. Thank you. All right, first off, all of these contestants are so excited to be here for the entire week, but one thing that they don't get is their parents and the rest of their family. So right now we'd like for all of the parents to stand up and please be recognized at this time. Just because they don't get to see their real parents doesn't mean that they don't get that support during the week. They get to stay with some wonderful families right here in Frank for what we like to call host families. And we like to also recognize them at this time. So would you please stand? We'd also like to recognize the local chairpersons who are here this evening. Anybody? <laughs> there we go. All right. And the mayor of this great city, Mr. Don Stock, he's represented by his lovely wife, Tina. Here she is. And last but certainly not least, none of this would be possible without the Indiana Junior Miss Board of Directors. So if there's any of you out in, this, out in the audience, would you please stand and be recognized? All right, thank you all so much for being here tonight. It means so much for the contestants to see all your beautiful faces out in the audience. Now you can learn more about the Indiana Junior Miss program by logging on to the national website at www.ajm.org. Now we'd like to also recognize our national sponsors for America's Junior Miss, where Indiana's Junior Miss 2007 will be heading in June. Some of the sponsors for this year are the City of Mobile, Mobile County, The Mitchell Company, Alabama Power, Regions Bank, Encore Rehabilitation Incorporated, Winsell's Oyster House, and Mobile Gas. So let's give a round of applause for those national sponsors. And now it is time for my personal favorite portion of the competition, talent. The talent contestants are given 90 seconds to display their performing arts talent in, on stage. And I can assure you, months of preparation has gone into perfecting each of these talents. The first half is group one, and they will be performing their talent for you. And after intermission, a short 15 minute inter intermission, we will be joined by the second half of the group. Now a special part of Junior Miss, as I said before, is that the girls get to stay with host families. They also have a roommate, which is another contestant who, are they, who they are competing against tonight. So each roommate will actually have the opportunity to introduce the contestant before their talent this evening and tomorrow evening. So let's welcome our very first roommate to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for contestants number one through six. They did all just such a fantastic job. Now it is time for an intermission, but before we head out of the auditorium, there's just a few announcements we need to make. There is no smoking in the building. There will be video messages played from the contestants to their friends and family on the big screen in here. So if you'd like to stick around and see those from group one, you're more than welcome to. The auditorium will be open. 
There are mailboxes in this side hallway where the girls are located, and if you wish, you can send little messages back to them telling them you're really proud of them, good luck, and keep going. All those messages that you want to send back to them, you have that opportunity. There's a table right over in the back of the auditorium in the lobby where you can find pieces of paper and write them little notes, and those can get sent to those girls. Also, for the very last item, is that there is a gift table out in the back where you can purchase some fun things that have the Junior Miss logo on them. They're great gifts for the girls and maybe even a little keepsake for yourself. So we will see you right back here in about 15 minutes. Time to continue with the talent competition with the second half of group number one, starting with contestant number seven. Let's give one more round of applause to all of our contestants in the talent category. As you can see, nothing gets to these girls. They can overcome everything. They're so strong and so powerful, so confident. And I think that is just tremendous to see. Even through technical difficulties, she can come out here and look beautiful. Now on to the final area of competition this evening, which is self-expression. Judges will evaluate each contestant looking for such qualities as demeanor, a sense of style, and of course, their speaking ability. Tonight, group two will compete in the self-expression category. Each contestant will have the opportunity to express her view on a specific issue. Earlier this evening, the contestants were given a question with little time to prepare, the young women tonight will share their response to this question with you. Tonight, the question is, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained one ability or quality, what would it be and why? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome me, please help me welcome group two to the stage. What an incredible example of the great young women who are growing to make changes in our community. Just looking at these girls tonight and throughout the week, everything that they've been working towards so hard and so diligently has definitely paid off. Let's give them all one more round of applause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this wraps up the competition for this evening. And I look forward to seeing all of you back here tomorrow night and Saturday night as we get ready to crown the new 2007 Indiana's Junior Miss. Have a safe drive home.